What's up, Internet? It's your favorite coffee expert. Back at it again, rocking the red apron. Getting ready to do a roast video. Got this bag of uh, Guatemalan Antigua, Santa Rosa. Got it off of eBay, off of a internet auction, eBay auction. So I uh, figure I'll go ahead and roast up some. You can already see I've roasted up a fair amount of it. This was a three pound bag when I started and I've roasted up all but about, mm, I'd say about a half pound or a pound or so. Eh, probably a half pound. So I'm going to go ahead and roast half a cup right now for you. And I'm going to be using my pop light popcorn popper and my wire mesh colander and my wooden roasting spoon. So. I'll go ahead and start that up for you. See, I've measured out half a cup of green beans. These are fair trade and organic beans. Again, I got them off of eBay, so they got them pretty cheap. Uh, I think it was about five bucks a pound. I got three pounds for fifteen. And uh, cool thing was, I got free shipping since I got three pounds. So All right, I'm going to go ahead and throw them in the roaster. All right, got the roaster roasting. I'm going to stir it up, just constantly stirring the whole time. It's kind of a windy day, so I'm hoping my ambient temperature keeps my roasting unit down to a low temperature so it doesn't overheat. And I've been having problems with the core overheating and uh, it'll cut off. It's got a safety feature that once it reaches a certain temperature it cuts off and since it's been nice and cool lately I haven't been having that problem as much. Also went from using two-thirds a cup to a half a cup before I was using more beans so I think that also allows for more air circulation and for the core not to get as hot. You can see they're in there. And they're smoking already. Chaff's coming off everywhere. A chaff flying all around me. It's a great day. So, the other big thing is I'm doing this outside. As we saw in the first video, not a good idea to do it in the kitchen. So I'm just going to keep stirring these till we get first pop. Then I'm going to stop stirring for a minute. Let them cook a bit. Looks like they're starting to get tan in color. Can't really see. Starting to get first pop. We got first pop going on. Smoking a lot. We just have a good part. my favorite part. We get a lot of a lot of aroma coming off of that smoke. That crackle signifies second pop. We're in the final stage of the roast here. This is when the beans are going to take their most color and their most oils are going to come out. We're going to get all the oils that we can on this one. I'm going to get them nice and dark I think. They are really popping. Well, once they hit second pop, it seems like the uh, the cooler overheated, and uh, the safety feature kicked in, and the popper cut off automatically. It just killed power. I think it's also a certain wattage. But luckily for me, you could just keep them in there, and since they're nice and tight in that core, they're still cooking. I mean, they're still popping, they're still smoking, and they look like they're dark. Nice and heavy oils. They look almost greasy. This is what I'm going for. I want a nice, dark roast out of these. Because as you probably saw in the beginning of this video, this is a uh, two-part series, 
and the next step of this is going to be stovetop espresso. These are going right in the espresso maker, and I'm going to make some nice stovetop espresso. I'm going to show you how. So stay tuned for that. It's coming up next. All right. Now I'm going to take them out, put them in the wire mesh colander. It's a good, good idea to get them all out. Give it a little. They get stuck in there because they're nice and oily. That's another thing. You got to clean this out once they get real oily like that. And you can see. Can you see? That's what I got. Okay. And they smell awesome. So I think these are uh, going to cool for a minute. Going to clean up the kitchen a bit. And get ready to make some stovetop espresso to start my day. These I think are going to be perfect. I want to try and get a good shot in there for you. There you can see. And they started out just like that. Nice and green. Bean to cup. That's how we're doing it today. Java Haven all the way. Oh, oh, oh.